Lance, good How's to see you. How's it going? Nice, oh, good to meet you, I'm man. Going. I've seen you for years walking around and never knew who you were. So. Oh, we're live streaming right now on the internet. So. I'm going to get Awesome, Lance Ward, cartoonist extraordinaire. How you doing, everyone? Come to my table and buy my comics. What kind of comics do you do? Yeah. Grab a chair and talk about what you're doing. I'll have both. Yes, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a book, Auto Bio, called Kmart Shoes. It was nominated for a Minnesota Book Award in 2013. That was my claim to fame. I uh, Now I do the A-Hole comic book series, <laughs> which I'm debuting number
All right, we were having some audio issues. We are now testing to see if there is audio. So, we got nothing, we got no audio. It does. I don't know how we lost sound or why we lost sound, but now we have sound. Taking a look here, making sure everything works. Gonna be watching, my watching. Works. Okay, the sound is back. Gonna be watching, my watching. Oh, there's a chat going on. I didn't even know there was a chat going on. It was such a moron. Okay, the sound is back. I don't know when the sound You're went out. Watching, my watching. So, uh, oh, there's a chat going on. I you don't know. lose a lot of kids. If we did, well, sorry. But, uh, let's see. I don't know when the sound went out. Favorite rush album. Favorite rush album? Uh, see, that's a hard one because... Everybody's favorite is Rush Album. And my first Rush Album was not one of my favorite. My first Rush Album was actually the Rush Album. So Jason was in, which is kind of a surprise. So I was like, okay, well, I like Jerry. And 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 I like Jerry. Yes, I am doing a playback. I'm just checking, so I'm going to turn that off. Sadly, I will not be able to see the. Uh, there, there. So, uh, Mr. McAvoy, if you could tell us, how are we doing now with the sound? <laughs> hey, it's my first time. It's my first time doing the live streaming. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're okay. All right. Well, thank you. Believe it or not, that is a single person just shouting to tell people that they're giving away prizes. Uh, Tim, what Joe was showing was this. So people got to see it, but they didn't hear it. So why don't you... Talk about. Okay, well, it's mostly stuff from the 90s back when we were at the Thunderbird, gonna... which no longer exists. Yeah, they, um, they, they shut it down. Shut it down just this week, right? Uh, a couple weeks ago. Sorry, okay. Yeah. But I know the auction was this week. They're auctioning off all the yeah, stuff. We had, because uh, I work over there, there's a lot of people that uh, were, cut, were emptying that place up. Yeah. They sold like all the art and all the furniture and stuff. I'm like, oh, I could have got some of that. Oh, well. Just for the memories. Sitting in those big couches, chatting all night. Okay, well, yeah, well, like I said, most of the stuff is from the Thunderbird. Uh, I'm going to crack this thing open so I can take them out. This one was during the Heroes Reborn when Liefeld was doing Captain America. Everybody vandalized my copy of number one, okay? It was uh, well-deserving, though. Oh, yeah. 
vandalized to such a degree that apparently somebody ripped off the uh, secondary cover. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you did, most people, they go around and they want autographs and sketches and stuff. You actually told people, please had, deface this comic. I had, to, I had to open it up and write stuff inside and change it. There's at least one, I think it's on this, the uh, second one I will talk about. Yeah, nobody ripped any of these out. The other one has pages that were ripped up and stuff, but this one is mostly ripping on the artwork. And everybody who did it signed the cover. Which Including Adam Hughes. Adam Hughes. Uh, Pete Gross, Jones. There's a lot of people on there. Now, one of the things that about it will show people they would, you know, make fun of the drawings and stuff. There was one I saw that I thought was a good example. I'm sure this is. I'm sure this is exciting. Right here, the uh, caption says, "I got to get better wear. I got to get better fitting clothes." Ow! 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 <laughs> Ain't this panel a kick in the head? <laughs> oh, I think this is just the alternate cover. And I think I ended up buying the alternate cover just so we could have that cover. No, this was be long before Disney bought Marvel, so the ears were added by another artist. Yes, <laughs> this was long before. <laughs> this one's a little more beat up right now. There you go. <laughs> my entire head has been sucked out of my helmet. <laughs> now, where did you come up with the idea for having people deface a comic? Uh, I, I don't know. Who, who, who likes Life Not even his <laughs> mother, okay? Uh, but this one was after that failed because Heroes Reborn was designed for failure, essentially. He uh, wanted to continue going, so he picked up, he tried to get the right for Fighting American. Apparently at some point he actually did. Not like it was very hard. No, no one was using it. No. But I do remember that it is, um... Uh, dedicated to Mark Wade, and Mark Wade was at that con. So he's on here somewhere, defacing this book that was dedicated to him. <laughs> God, that's right. They just kept drawing Captain America lines on whenever they saw it. And whenever he was holding the shield, people would draw, would write a little thought bubble, do not throw shield. Do not throw shield. Oh, God, fighting American. Oh, yeah, and this, apparently I'm using this awesome sketch of Pat Gruber as my backer boy. And, and who drew it? <laughs> that was uh, Dave, I think, drew that one yep. from back in the... Uh, Dave Storberg. Yep, yeah, there we go. Who used to work at Joe's shop. Yeah. Uh, he showed up at... He was here last year, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah so. last year. Last year was a real homecoming. Jen showed up for the first time ever. Uh, first time I'd seen her in uh, 12 years. Oh, wow. uh, Dave Storberg, actually, he was in town for something else, but it was the weekend at the convention, and um, Jess, Jess Jeff showed up. He didn't show up this time, I guess. Huh? He showed up at, uh, at, at Nick's funeral and stuff. Oh, no, I need a whole new sheet. I can't have that happen. Not on this Your stuff comic. is falling apart. Yes. I don't even remember where this one is. I literally grabbed a random book, and it was Mr. T and the T-Force that people people ripped on. But mostly what I did back then was these little backer board sketches. I would go buy a book for, from the quarter bin, as long as it had a backer board, then I would just throw the book away until I could have a 25 cent backer board. And there was always a theme to these. Boy, there are more in here than I, even I have sleeves for, apparently. 
I don't know. I mean, they're obviously signed, but I can't tell from signatures who a lot of them are. By the way, Jin is dancing again, despite saying that she's exhausted. So she's either working on her second wind, or somebody gave her uh, amphetamines. Which is it? Are you on your second wind, or did somebody give you amphetamines? This is, uh... Yes, but it's fixed now. Wow. I don't know. I have heard that part of it is there. I've heard that none of it is there, this but we will talk again. A toast theme, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mojo Tosto. <laughs> Mojo Tosto. <laughs> This one got like stains on it. That's depressing. This was well, you shouldn't be this. you shouldn't be reading it while you're eating your ham sandwiches. Oh, apparently, I need to get some more of these these uh, sleeves. I suppose bugs. Boy, there's a lot on that one. I went back. This one just appears to be fat people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, now they get double siders. Some of them have the ears on them, which is good. Not all of them. Have the ears? Year. Oh, like year. this is from yes. 96. Yeah, they do. Yeah, some of them do, but some of them don't. This one says 95. Okay. That one, I think, that if I remember that theme, it was literally just people looking off to the side. <laughs> so in the back, that was a 96 in the back. Now, do artists charge for sketches like these, or it's just, nah, I here was, you go. Uh, I was a piece of garbage, and I would mostly just uh, blackmail people into it. And oh, blackmail. Them. That's always good. Blackmail, always good. Gene Haas on a lot of them. He never charged, but he would make you do some type of, uh, you know. Yeah, he's, very, he's notorious for making you do something to earn your sketch. This one just seems to be random stuff from 96. I don't know what the theme that one might have been. A lot of head sketches on this one. Yeah, a lot of head sketches. That's what you can get for free, is a quick head sketch. Yes. <laughs> well, this was from Microcon in 98. Yeah, when we were still calling it Microcon. That was the, about this time of year, except for it was the smaller con. <laughs> oh, there's Elvis Green Lantern. These were all Elvis Green Lanterns. Uh, no, maybe not. No. Well, they're all Elvis. Yeah. They're all Elvis superheroes. And on the back, we're non non elvi That was bad backlit, is what that one was. I like the Chris Jones. Chris Jones yeah, is very cool. Cheat. <laughs> he always cheats. This one has people sticking their tongues out. God, this one's bad. This is one of my favorites. And Chris Jones, once again, has to... Uh, Chris Jones right there. Up there. It's on the back of that one. On the back of it? That was Supreme. Some, some stuff. Yeah, I think that's different. Bizarro's or something? Supremes? This one, is there, this has 98 on here. This is all the people going to the bathroom. There you go. Wonder Woman is just quite Chris Jones, if I remember. <laughs> Uh, Troll Lords. I like this one. Look out, here comes the comics industry. And it's just a <laughs> toilet. Uh, Somebody who really loved their job. Boy, I do not, I couldn't tell you what that theme was. Stuff. Stuff. Although Chris Jones cheated in some way, but I couldn't tell you what it was. So what was the first convention you came to? 94, 95, Okay. Probably. And what did you do before that? Just kind of sit home, stare at the wall? I, uh, I didn't even start reading comics until I was 19. Okay. And then that's mostly because I grew up in small town, Wisconsin. So when did you move to uh, St. Paul and uh, get sucked into the... Uh, in 90, late 94, so I guess... It, I probably didn't go to the comic that, but I never know. I'm okay. Terrible. So you got sucked into Butch's orbit. Yes. I, I, I moved to an apartment in Oakdale 
and while I was living in Stillwater for that. And I'm like, I used to just get all my books at Shinders. And I'm like, you're going to find a real comic shop. And Hot Comics was no further away from my house than Shinders. So I just started going there. And then, I don't know, I got part of the circle, basically. Yeah. Oh, well, here's your Cyclops. Ah. Uh, I'm trying to stay hydrated. Oh, my God. This one is... And then the back is B.O., okay? Stinky, stinky B.O. I gotta get more of these sleeves. Captain America, 60 I, years, one pair of I have time today to get a backer board and throw one of these out around, maybe. Yeah, maybe, See? maybe. <laughs> Hulk, of course. Hulk likes beans. It was one of my favorite 70s things when Hulk decided on his favorite food and it was beans. I don't know. I think that was a Steve Gerber invention. What was? Hulk liking beans. Hulk like beans? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like something he would do in the Defenders. Okay, this one was obviously smoking and the back is random picture. Now these look more like traditional sketches here. These ones, they, they get a little more traditional. I mean, we got one more. Oh, there's a uh, portrait of me back when I was a uh, skinnier freak. At you as a Green Lantern? Yes, I always wore that Green Lantern shirt for the years. It's the only, only time I wore it was at the time. These all look like you. They make, were they all me? Holy shit, those are all me. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, there's something, and uh, oh, there's Mad Bat. A bat who dresses as a man to fight crime. And a wonderful Paul Fricky. Now, did Fricky uh, do the word balloon? Because what? Did Fricky do the word balloon that says "Hello, asshole"? asshole. Boy, ninety-nine. I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh my God, here we go, dude. <laughs> there, there is actual Elvis Green Lantern back when I had the sideburns and I would show up as it could be called Elvis Green Lantern mostly by Nick. And so I got that sketch. And this is apparently not Dan Jurgens. Diana Green, it looks like. I don't know who that is, but doesn't mean much. There's a lot of people in this planet I, I don't this know. This is just a, uh, a photocopy of a larger sketch I have at home. Both these are. We're making a big mess, by the way. Oh, there, there's my problem. I was like, this looks like there's two, but there is. There's a Pat Gleason. Yeah. And you're on that. A Jean Ha. Two thousand. Okay. Jean Ha. I've got some real good. I got some nice Jean Ha shirts. Oh, now we're back to, we have one more, or we have a couple more heavy duties with a lot of sketches on them. I think these might be some of the These are just photocopies of sketches that I've gotten for like years. Another Elvis Green Lantern. They don't fit, there's an Elvis Green Lantern. And do we know who this artist is? That? God, if we ask Butch, because Butch is better with names, he could tell me, and he'd know it from looking at it and everything. But I can't remember his name. That was at Chicago Con, actually. Oh, okay. So it should it doesn't belong in here. It's a travesty. This one here. It's sacrilegious. Sacrilegious. I don't know if there's themes on these. I think these are real early. No, these are late. It says 2003 on this one. Wow, that's like brand new. There's a Gene uh, Ha portrait there. That was from there you, Look at that Gene Ha right there. Look at that. For a head sketch. Yeah. Do you, what are some of the things you had to do to get sketches from Gene Ha? I remember at one microcon, back when I was much thinner, I had to get two people to carry me on their shoulders so I could proclaim myself as Emperor of Comics. Yes. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. With Butch and Paul. <laughs> 
and they both remember that either, too, also, because they mostly destroyed their entire health. That <laughs> <laughs> was Travis did. Shit, I gotta put all this stuff back. But yeah, I, uh, I, God, I might have to grab a book back and forth and just sort of find people I've never even seen before and weasel a sketch out of them. Hey, no. <laughs> I don't even know how I did that back then. Now, what would your theme be this time, though? It, it was usually, uh, whoever, whatever the first drawing was, I would pick a theme based on that. Oh, okay. I, I'm frightened to know who uh, drew, drew the toilet. And you went, oh, it'll be people on the toilet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll find that one. Let me see if I can figure out which one of those might have been the first. <laughs> I tried to extra super get around Chris's shenanigans by having him draw first because then I would just like there now you can't cheat yeah they, yeah 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 off of your stuff wow those are all me that's back when I had hair shit you're year on this 99 you've got some hair I've got some hair I was either 30 or 31 in that picture <laughs> I don't know if that was my hey, you too. hey hi we are live on the internet. Oh we are live streaming. Oh, Introduce yourself to the to the to the podcasting and the YouTube oh world. God. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that one? You've been in public before. I know, but I'm, I, I, I. You have to get into character. Yeah, I guess that's true. But, okay. But no, okay. This is Voss Little Crow. Hi, internet. I'm wearing my, you can say it's cat ears, horns, bunny ears. It doesn't really matter. It's just, it matches with my ponytail, see? <laughs> and Vaz is an artist. She's been here a number of times. Uh, free comic book day. You were at free comic book I day sure last was. year. Did I the sure sketch was. of Joe yep. and I. Yep. Uh, tell people the, your website so they can go look at your work. Okay, it's Velvet Rasputin. Um... That, okay, let's let's do it. It's Velvet Rasput with P U T, you know, because we're not finishing the word, and then dot info. So that's, or you can find my personal website. It's at bosslittlecrow.com. So that's. Um, I wish I had like a sign. <laughs> well, you can bring it tomorrow. I could do that. Yeah. And are you set up here at the con? I sure am. How's I do have a table with. Um, Know me over there. Um, I wish I, I were better at directions, but it's way <laughs> well, over yonder. You know what? If they're watching us in Australia, they, they, they won't be able to find it. That's true. But if you're here at the convention, you can find you. Um, how's the convention going for you? It's going fantastic. Um, we've been selling some books, which is always a good thing. Um, I brought in uh, the new chapter uh, compilation of... Uh, Rasputin Catamite, we have the second compilation. We have a cover art by uh, Tarana Cliff, which is really good. Uh, basically, there's a tent, uh, sexy tentacle monster with a donut, two uh, house cleaning snakes, one with a notebook and the other one with a feather duster, pencil. She's on the cell phone, you know. That's just what happens when you're a comic book character. And, uh, <laughs> When you're, a comic, when you're a comic book, you know, the tentacle monsters, they just show up and bring donuts. That's right. And, <laughs> and there's art by Ram Lama, which is pretty awesome. And, of course, I wrote it because I'm kind of too lazy to draw anymore. <laughs> and uh, the other one we have is the compilation of Soup Wars. Um, and it's, um, the cover is by Leslie Ortego. Uh, Amanda did uh, some of the interiors. I did some of the interior art as well because I was still doing interior art back then and of course I wrote it so I'm, I'm writing a lot more than I used to which that's like it requires spell checking and grammar and, <laughs> and, and those things that I thought I went into comics to avoid those things but yeah that, well and also switching from an artist to a writer it's so weird <laughs> But, you know, I still do caricatures and things like that, but it's just like, to me, it's a, it's like a whole different mentality. Yeah. So, it's just kind of, it's like the old days when I was modeling, I was forming my drawing out to someone, except now it's a little more intimate. I'm just really, it, it's not just that I form it out, it's like, um, 
a lot of these people are really, they feel like really good friends and family. So it's just kind of, it's kind of fun. And in fact, uh, Naomi, um, for the, the woman formerly known as Narfi La Mancha, she is actually uh, renting a room from us now. So okay. It, yeah, so she, it, so it's kind of like, we have, I have, we have like a, one of the artists from the team on, in my basement. And <laughs> it's really exciting because it's just like, no, you want to draw something? Sure. Do you want to make stupid stuff? Yeah, let's go on a road trip. <laughs> so, That's the way to make comics. It, it really is. So it's been kind of cool. So until she gets sick, so, sick of us or makes enough money to get a bigger, better place. And you know she will because they always leave. The, the, there's a life cycle of the roommate. You know, you're, you're like best buddies at first. Then you kind of get sick of it and then you're like, fuck this, I want my own space. <laughs> <laughs> Again, but that's fine. I mean, and, and, and it's okay because, you know, that's just how it is. But it, it's exciting that, that, you know, that I get to have my, one of my best buds and collaborators, like, at the basement of my house, like, and we can work together a lot more. So that's, that, that's like, really exciting to me right now. So. Well, cool. Yeah, well, yeah. thanks for stopping by. They're <laughs> always good to at? see you. Huh? Where is your booth at? Way over yonder. Okay, right. We're talking about we weasel free sketches on it. So I may go there and weasel a little tiny sketch. Oh, come on. Do you want me to do one right now? Do you have a pen? He needs to go get a backing I need board. To get a backer board. Here's how it works. I go buy a 50 cent comic. Used to be a 25 cent comic. Don't do those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that has a backer board. Then I throw the comic away and use back board instead. <laughs> That's like a. Why don't you put be be environmental and put the comic book you don't want on the freebie table? That's what the freebie table You're is right. for. That is, that Getting rid of sense. our shit, okay? You're right. Because I got. That makes a lot more yeah, sense. like Nomi got a Vampirella calendar, a Red Zonia calendar for free, and they're really nice calendars. So it's like. Well, I could go find a book real quick if I can find one. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for stopping by, both of you. you have yeah. fun. Have a good convention. Yeah. By the way, this was the first one. Okay. So the, the toilet, he is saying that this, Batman, uh, taking a break. Yeah, I can't make out the name. I love Paul Fricky's sketch on this, by the way. Then again, I love Paul Fricky. I've always love Paul. Paul's a great guy. Well, hopefully you can find another comic uh, soon for people to deface. That's the same. It's always a mix. It's always a mix. And I see you picked up uh, Xander Cannon's Kaiju Max. Let's let it. I have picked it up. I have not read it yet because I haven't had time to do as much reading as I was like. But but I love I love Xander's work anyway. Xander's a great guy, and the fact that he lives here and he's putting together a studio here for people to do stuff. Yeah. It's one of the things about the the Twin Cities is we're getting these little cartoon collectives and these little comic groups and you know Vaz she has you know her group of people up in St. Cloud and they all do web comics and 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 stuff like that and it just seems that it's very community based and you know we're not the biggest city we're not people don't go oh Minneapolis that's a hotbed of comics but it's becoming that partly because of um, Minneapolis College of Art and Design having so many comic creators as professors more and more people are coming here to learn how to do that uh, Tim, Tim must have seen somebody he knows Got to look here because, dude, sweet, sweet Christmas. There have been a whole lot of posts here. 
Uh, so let's see, uh, Patrick McAvoy, who is the artist on Case File Arkham and, uh, and other books. I've had him on the show a couple of times. Great guy. Um, it, enjoying the show while I work, it's just like being there. Do you ever hope to make it out to the West Coast for anything? This is really the first time we're doing the podcast live thing. Um, we've done a couple other like conventions. We did Falcon, where we recorded a lot. We did um, the the Holiday Geek Fest, which Dan will kill me if I mispronounced it, but I probably did. And we're we're looking at doing more conventions. We're looking at doing more conventions. I, I want to set up and do this sort of thing, maybe a little more planful than this time, but. Um, we want to do more of this. I would love to make it out to the West Coast. I don't want to go to San Diego again, though. I'll give you a text in a few minutes. Pat, you're on the show going. Oh, we are broadcasting live on the internet. Woo! And um, here you go. Show me the shield on the internet. What are you doing? Broadcasting live. Right. We are broadcasting live. There you go. There's our business card. From the shield, though. I got the shield. There you go. All right. Good to see you. But um, any comic based convention. You know, San Diego, I went there in 2001, and it was just, it was too much. Too much, too much, too much. Uh, let's see here. I have not looked at my darn page for forever, so. Let's see what else we got. What else we got here? Um, Brian Hancock and John Davis both gave us a like. Thank you. Share the link. Let people know. Put it out on the Facebook and everything else. Um, <laughs> Root was there. Uh, Matthew Guy, thank you for sending the email to Solitaire Rose Network at gmail.com. You send me questions, I'm going to answer them. Ron Allred says, I am not allowed to go to the bathroom again, and I should have had the dancing. I guess the sound went bad when I went to the bathroom or something. 